Hi, boys and girls. So today's book is the big book called Life in Death Valley. It's written by Sarah Murphy, designed by Camila Quintana. Life in Death Valley. This is Death Valley. Death Valley is a desert. It's down here between California and Nevada. The all-time hottest temperature ever measured on Earth was in Death Valley back in 1913. It was as hot as 134 degrees. Death Valley is hot and has very little water. Is Death Valley dead? No, Death Valley is full of life. How do plants and animals live here? Here's a rattlesnake, a prickly pear cactus, a prairie falcon, a coyote, a Joshua tree, and sagebrush. Death Valley is home to more than 400 animals and 1,000 plant species, all different types. Problem number one. In Death Valley, there's too much sun. The sun makes Death Valley very hot. What can animals do to stay cool? Solution number one, they can find shelter. It is not hot underground. Some animals make homes called burrows underground. So here's a pocket gopher. He makes little tunnels that go down and in his burrows he can sleep and rest, come up in a different spot. He has a great road runner, which is a type of bird, a silver chala cactus, a black-tailed jackrabbit, and a gila woodpecker. So when there's too much sun, they can find shelter. Some birds make homes in cacti to get away from the sun. There's a woodpecker. He pecked his way right into the cactus. Solution number two is they can have big ears. Some animals have big ears, and their ears help them stay cool. Wow, this is a black-tailed jackrabbit, and his ears go so high up. This is from the inside of his ear. It's showing you how the blood that pumps through his body, see the veins? Remember we talked about having veins? We searched for those on our own bodies. Blood flows close to the skin, so the animal's body loses more heat. So here's his veins. It goes really, really, really close to the edge of his skin. That's helpful. Solution number three is to be nocturnal. Remember that word, nocturnal? Some animals sleep during the day and go out at night. Some plants open their flowers at night and close them during the day. So here are some nocturnal animals. This is a giant gecko, a mountain lion, a spotted owl, he's up in the cactus, a kit fox, and a desert, desert wood rat. Now here's these beautiful flowers that are closed during the day when it's super hot and they blossom or they open up when it's nighttime. Prickly pear cactus, cereus cactus, Joshua tree, and here's a desert iguana. Now, problem number two is if there's no water. Death Valley is very dry. It only gets two inches of rain a year. That's about this much. A whole year, that's all it rains, that much. How do plants and animals get water? Death Valley only gets about 20 rainy days in the whole year. So out of 365 days in the year, only 20 of those days it actually rains. Here's a tumbleweed blowing through the desert. Here's a coyote. Looks like he's drinking up a tiny little puddle of water. And here's an aloe vera succulent type of plant. Solution number one, if there's no water, they can store water. The cactus soaks up water like a sponge and saves it to use later. It's got tissue right inside here. Like we have skin tissue, they have their own plant tissue. Their skin and the little pith right here. Look at the roots, how they're going down and they're pulling the water up. Solution number two, the animals 
can eat a cactus. This is a desert iguana. You can see he's biting into it. This is a little bird called a chiff chaff, and he's eating the fruit that can grow on a cactus. And a longhorn bull is also eating cactus. You can notice that any type of cacti that has flowers could blossom at the top or could also have fruit, and that fruit can be eaten. Lots of animals eat cacti to get water. Solution number three, drink nectar. These animals drink nectar to get water. Now, nectar is found inside of a flower. So here's a hummingbird, and here's a long-nosed bat. Both of them are drinking the nectar from the flowers on this red torch cactus. Bats are an important pollinator, just like bees. In the rainforest, fruits like bananas and mangoes need bats to grow. Solution number four, they can eat animals. Oh boy, we know all about this. All animals are made mostly of water. Some animals eat other animals to get water. So here's a chuckwalla, and he is eating a bug or an insect. Here's the great roadrunner bird, and he is eating a little lizard. And here's a spotted owl, and look what he's caught in his talons. He has a mouse. So they can get water by eating animals. Plants and animals can get what they need to live in the desert. Death Valley is full of life. So Death Valley is not dead at all, is it? Vulture, creosote bush, desert palm bush, and a little wall lizard. Okay, we'll talk about these two pictures later. Life in Death Valley.